So I'm just going to cat that. Um, and notice this is sort of the default file here. Okay. It's the default grub is grub 2's main configuration file. And I'm just so I can highlight it, I'm going to open that up in uh, G Edit. So I'm going to pull this over here. I'm just going to do Alt F2. And excuse me, I'm going to do GK sudo G Edit. And I'm going to go here. I'm just going to open again. I'm going to go to file system, etc. Default. And here's my grub configuration file. And let me go ahead and blow this up here so it's full screen ish. And let me enlarge the font a little bit here. Make it easy for you guys to see, I hope. There, maybe that should be a little bit easier to see, huh? Okay, so just to look at a few of these lines, um, grub default. This is an enumeration of the menu entries. So if you remember, the first few menu entries I had were um, Ubuntu, the operating system, so that would be zero. And then after that was Ubuntu, you know, recovery mode, that would be one. Then there were two memory test entries, um, so two and three. And after that, uh, there were there was a 32-bit and a 64-bit Snow Leopard entry. Um, so that would be four and five, and then there was a Windows Seven. And so that would be six. And so I could change the default operating system that is selected on that boot menu just by changing the number here. Um, and just for, you know, just as an example, we'll, we'll change it to Windows 7. We'll change that to 6. Um, and in this case, the timeout is another important key feature. By default, it's 10 seconds. I'm going to make it 30 seconds. Just to show you that we can modify or change that. Um, all right, let's let's look at some of these other options here.
take a look at some of the other configuration files related to Grub2 as well. And they're in the folder etc grub.d. So if we go there, um, let's do a long listing of the contents thereof. So we can take a gander at some of these. Um, the header is simply what it is. It's a header. In this case, Debian theme, um, it contains background and text color themes. Um, the next file, 10 Linux, um, it's the Linux kernels based on the results of LSB, you know, the, the current kernel or release that has been installed. The next important one would be this, um, and that's the actual memory test uh, entry in the Grub2 boot menu. So you can test the memory on, on a system if you know you're trying to recover a bad system or, or something like that. This 30 OS dash prober um, that searches and scans for Linux and other operating systems on other partitions, and that will include them in the menu. This one here is just a template of how to add your own custom menu, and in this case, this one here is a custom menu. So I'm just using the cat tool. I'm going to look at a few of these. Um, if I look at the theme one, let's look at the contents of that file there. Okay. And just looking at the contents of that file, you can see that this holds the information for the color scheme. In addition, if I am going to use a splash screen and graphics, the wallpaper would be placed into this file. Okay. All right. So another long listing here. That was the theme. Now let's look at the next one. All right. So we're going to cat, um, and in this case, we'll do 10. Linux. Okay. And this is sort of the default kernel operating system. If I use the command uname, um, and then in this case, again, this is my, you know, 263522 generic. So that's the flavor of uh, the Linux kernel that I'm using. And then let's look at the next one, the memory test one. And again, I'll just cat it. Um, so it's only. Let's see. And then I'll just use a wild card. Okay. And that's just the menu entry for the memory test option in the Grub2 boot menu. And I'll, let me do another long listing. 30 OS Prober. Let's cat that one. And we'll just use a wild card. It's the only 30 there. And then again, this script information is just telling it to go through and look. For any other installed operating systems, and actually there is a command we can run, um, you know, sudo os-prober that will look for operating systems, and then we can use the command update-grub and add them to our grub2 boot menu. Okay, so do another long listing there, and let's look at the template 40 custom. So look at the template 40 custom. And right now it's just comment tags, okay? Um, well, with the exception of the tail command. But, um, now let's look at the custom entry that I've added. So if I were to do that, let me cat uh, 41. And, okay. And this is just a custom menu entry, okay? And if you wanted to, you know, to configure these files or to enumerate them, um, I would I could simply run the command uh, sudo, uh, as I said before, and os prober. Since I need root privileges, I have to enter my password. And there's my Snow Leopard, and there's my Windows 7. 